Looking back in history, have you ever wondered how the early Christians shared their faith with so much passion and how they helped transform other people's lives and how the numbers exploded exponentially? Hi, Keo Duvan here and welcome to another episode of Week at a Glance, where we dive into a thoughtful summary of this week's Bible study guide. And if you don't have a copy of the study guide, be sure to check out the link below. In this episode, we will talk about the secret power to level up your passion for witnessing. Have you ever gone to a beautiful vacation only to come back home with a refrigerator full of rotten fruits and vegetables? Normally, this doesn't happen and shouldn't happen, but sometimes, because of power failures, it does happen. In your spiritual life, when you are not connected to the source of power, then you will be like the refrigerator who has lost its purpose. Your goal is to be plugged in and to remain plugged in so that the power of the Holy Spirit can work wonders as you witness for Jesus. Here are the important points to remember for today's episode. The first point is accepting the Holy Spirit. When Jesus left his followers, he left them a huge task and probably some of you would even label it as mission impossible. However, this mission is the most important in the world because it has to do with your salvation and the salvation of others. The followers of Jesus waited for a secret power that Jesus promised them. They waited, they spent days in prayer. The Holy Spirit came and equipped them with burning desire to share Jesus. They couldn't keep silent, so they shared their faith with boldness. Accepting the Holy Spirit made an extraordinary difference. Most of them were uneducated and their resources were actually limited, but the Holy Spirit led them on a faith journey, on a journey of faith that resulted in sharing the life-changing message of Jesus. When you decide to follow Jesus, you should also accept the gift that He promised. And when you witness for Jesus, you are cooperating with the Holy Spirit. And this brings us to our next point, cooperating with the Holy Spirit. Our task. Is it really mission impossible? I hope that the following statement will help you as it has helped me. It says, mission is God's work first. Our work is to cooperate with the Holy Spirit. From the very start, God has taken the initiative to save humanity. God revealed Himself through various means and ultimately through Jesus Christ. Mission is God's work. And this idea is best expressed in the introduction of this Quarters Bible Study Guide. It says, mission is primarily the work of God. He's employing all resources of heaven to save our planet. Our work is to cooperate joyfully with Him in His work of saving lost people. Now, the Holy Spirit is one of the greatest resources that God has employed. He brings your focus back to Jesus. He opens the hearts of the honest-hearted seekers, and He opens doors of opportunity for you to share Jesus with others. The Holy Spirit also cooperates with the Father and Jesus Christ in saving humanity. And the same Holy Spirit who empowered the disciples and also the apostles in the early church is still working today in people's hearts. And the same Holy Spirit calls you to cooperate with Him to bring life-changing transformation to people's lives. Now we move on to our final point, and that is transforming with the Holy Spirit. When you accept the Holy Spirit, something irresistible happens. Transformation takes place, and when you cooperate with Him, this transformation is exponentially magnified. The Holy Spirit doesn't just leave you how He met you. He puts your focus to Jesus and molds you into His image and empowers you to share this awesome Jesus who has turned your life around. And one of the best ways that the Holy Spirit works transformation is through reading and hearing and understanding the Holy Bible. And the same Holy Spirit who inspired the Bible writers changes you as you read and as you share the Bible. The transforming power of the Holy Spirit works for everyone. And it is not in your place to decide who can or cannot be rich. Your job, my job, is to be a witness. And the Holy Spirit will do the conversion and transformation. And as you witness for Jesus, it is crucial to remember that you are cooperating with the Holy Spirit. He is there before you preparing the hearts to receive the message of the gospel. And He is there with you, moving upon the minds as you share the gospel. And He will continue to work on the hearts of people long after you leave, doing whatever it takes to lead those people to a knowledge of salvation. Now, there are several things that takes place when you allow the Holy Spirit to transform you. The first one is you are empowered to focus on Jesus. 
Witnessing is never about you and me. It has always been and is always about Jesus. Second, you are empowered to focus on the Bible. Just like the disciples, the Word of God was at the heart of their witnessing. It was the basis of their authority. And last, you are empowered to focus on witnessing. The Holy Spirit opens your eyes to see how you can be a witness for Jesus today. And just like a dependable refrigerator at home, be connected and stay connected with the source of electricity. The Holy Spirit is a secret power to level up your passion for witnessing. In summary, let's wrap it up all together. Here are different points we talked about in this episode on how to be an effective Spirit-empowered witness. The first one is accepting the Holy Spirit. The second one, cooperating with the Holy Spirit. And lastly, transforming with the Holy Spirit. I hope that you will remember all the different points that we talked about. But if there's one thing I want you to take away from today's episode, here it is. When you accept and cooperate with the Holy Spirit, lives will be transformed your life and someone else's life. Like always, if you find this episode helpful, then please share it with a friend. Spread a word and change lives one message at a time. And if you want to know more about the power of praying for others, then click on this video here. Cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Be a witness for God. This is again Keo Tuvan for Week at a Glance. I'll see you again next week.